Now at 5.30, demanding answers. There is growing outrage over the handling of human remains from the MOVE bombing in May of 1985. Right now, demonstrators are converging on the University of Pennsylvania. The group includes members of the Africa family. Penn and Princeton University are under fire in this growing scandal. Joe Holden is in University City with new developments tonight. Hi, Joe. Hi, Jessica. We are on the move. The protesters were on, sorry about that, this side of uh, Spruce Street. They now moved over to an area outside of Franklin Field. It is to the right of where they are demonstrating, which is the Penn Museum, the center of this controversy. Two Ivy League University campuses unite in protest. The University of Pennsylvania and Princeton are connected by a recently disclosed, deeply painful controversy. When I looked at it, I was horrified, and I was, it's very painful for a lot of my peers. Um, and just to kind of see it out in the open, I mean, there's definitely that shock. But for this to happen at Princeton, it's not, it happens all the time. Years ago, Penn was asked to help positively identify remains from the 1985 move catastrophe in West Philadelphia, where 11 members of the Africa family died. Records show the bones, believed to be from two teenage children, were sent and analyzed by Professor Alan Mann. Mann, it's alleged, took the bones with him to Princeton after retiring from Penn in 2000. Penn, in a lengthy statement, indicated the remains were used in a forensic anthropology class at Princeton. That class has since been suspended. Princeton has not responded to a request for comment. Our repeated efforts to get to the bottom of where are these remains right now took us to a densely wooded neighborhood in Princeton. A woman who answered the door at the home of Professor Mann told us he declined to come and chat and that he wouldn't answer any of our questions. Uh, he's been uh, very disturbed by all the hate mail that he's got. The Africa family earlier this week blasted the entire handling of the matter. They only learned about the missing remains through the press. Penn, in part of its statement, wrote, quote, It is an ethical imperative to show the utmost respect to family survivors. Informed consent must be given by the person before death or by the family afterwards. Regretfully, this did not happen in this case, and it was a serious error in judgment to use these remains in a class of any kind, especially given the extreme emotional distress in our community surrounding the 1985 bombing of the move house. And we are back live here in University City. You are looking at uh, what is a demonstration over this entire controversy. It is peaceful. We don't really hear any chants at this point. There are a few signs sprinkled in the mix with the words return the remains and the university tells us through numerous statements that is what they are working on and they are working with the family to determine exactly what their expectations are in this process. The university is saying they want this to be done respectfully. We should also add the Philadelphia City Health Department also working to find out if all those years ago there was ever a consent form from the family allowing this to take place. They have told us that they are looking into their archives. It just goes back that far. We're back at 6 with the latest on this demonstration in University City. We're live. This is Joe Holden, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.